Welcome back. In this episode, we will be learning and discussing our process of getting Ko's new motor. While motoring in the bay one night, our Nissan 8HP started making a grinding sound and wouldn't accelerate. Unfortunately, there was nothing wrapped around the prop, so it wasn't going to be an easy fix and knew that meant we had to sail to our dock without any wind. In three hours, we went 300 yards and successfully made it home. After a little bit of research, we discovered that it's the lower unit that is broken and knew that Ko had to be out of the water and that meant renting a U-Haul truck and putting her on our trailer. See how it rocks back and forth and it moves around so much? Yeah. I'm not sure if, it, I don't think it's definitely not supposed to do that. It's also important to note that I have no idea what I'm looking at. With the motor's manual and YouTube in my lap, I just start taking things apart. After calling around, I learned that they don't do repairs on the lower unit because they don't make this motor anymore. So knowing that the only thing this motor can offer me now is a learning experience and practice. Stuff up in here. Chunks go. Uh oh. Well, that's about. On there, the propeller is not slipping. That's not at all what's going on. Yeah. Okay, well, let's put it back on then. Being overly optimistic, I did an oil change in the lower unit. And after a little research and common sense, we knew that it was a bad sign to see flakes and chunks in the old oil. Oh, I did such Does a it good need job more than one bottle? Running under our boat. So we just changed the lower unit oil. I think I noticed some flakes, but it's like this putrid green color. Mm -hmm. And now we're changing it with this one and it's a much different color, so I'm concerned. Also, we saw the flakes that everyone warned us about, so we're just gonna wait for it to fill up till we see it start to spill up right there. And then we're gonna screw that closed so it won't drip back out here when I unscrew that. I just changed the spark plugs too. That's kind of fun. Oh, you already put the top back on. So I can't yeah. show the camera. I didn't even think to film changing the spark plugs. But... After all that, we put the earmuffs on the motor to see if there were any improvements. It's amazing and quite funny that when we bought Ko, she had the earmuffs on board and we initially didn't even know what the device was for. This is the moment I just got off the phone with the Nissan dealer. I said we had to bring the motor to them. Okay. We're gonna start by untying this knot in a pile of ants. Okay, so after I took off the top, I disconnected this piece from here, right? And that piece from there. I disconnected the fuel pump line from right here. Can you see that? It just kind of pops on and twists. And then I'm gonna unscrew this piece. That's disconnected from there. I'm going to leave that on there. And that's it. That's all we have to document for now. Okay. Look, this is everything we have to disconnect from the control box. Are you looking at the yeah. colors? There's brown, red, green, black, and blue. By brown, yeah, that's, that's brown. Okay. So, I don't understand any of I ranted about I them for that. like a solid 20 minutes. So first one will be black. I'm really sorry about this. Okay. 
Okay, then this red one. This is what your granddad said not to do. Yep. I'm throwing caution to the wind. Here we go. Does this is just disconnect? Okay, your hand's in the way of me seeing what wires you're cutting. Okay, I just disconnected red. Okay. Green. Oh, green goes into another like weird fucking splicing. I mean, a weird splicing. Well, if they spliced them and put them together with that, surely they can do it again. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Now we have brown. Looks like they've spliced brown like a dozen trillion times. That's super cool. Let's do that. Also. All right. And you can pull that cord. I'll just tuck all that back up in there. Well done. So from here to here is, oh geez. From there to there is about 18 and a half, 19? Yeah. There to there is 17. Okay. To here to here and how is much is that? 15. Okay. Before we even go to Pensacola, you need to call and see when their mechanic leaves. We got it all loaded up. It's from the back transom to the very front. I would say it's about 18 and a half. Motor. So this one is 16 or 14. That handle can come off though. So. Guess what we're doing this weekend? Going on our boats. Here she is. We bought her $2,042. Slow and quick. That's it. I don't it'll care. Take, it'll, take a, it'll take a couple to, to, to fire up. Yeah. 
gotten your juice on that boat. Backwards through the top and then back in through here. White tape on the side. We just replace the traveler line. Look at it. So pretty. Excellent. Actually, because it's a better line, it sinks in better. Sinks in so Actually, when you do this one, you should replace that line with the same size. 